Charge discharge plots are common in battery research papers, such as this one that I previously published. However, developing these plots manually using Excel is a time consuming and error prone task. Consequently, I developed a program to automate this process and generate higher quality outputs. This video will first show a demonstration of this program, then a tutorial on its usage will be given. Beginning with the demonstration, the program is operated via an intuitive graphical interface using buttons to browse to the file which is to be analyzed. Several specifications are then given which will be explained in depth in the tutorial section. After clicking button 6, the program automates origin to generate the graphs as per your specifications. When this process completes, a message box will appear alerting the user. Next, click button 7 in order to open the folder containing the generated outputs. The first of these is a Word file which contains the image and a caption. Additionally, a PowerPoint file containing the image and caption is generated. Finally, an image file of the graph itself is generated. This concludes the demonstration, so the tutorial will now begin. The first parameter to be specified is the concise experiment name. This will be used to name the folders and graphs generated in the origin project. Next, specify the cycles that you wish to plot, each number separated by a comma. Next, specify the manufacturer of the battery tester from which your data file was generated. The active material mass should also be specified at this point. Next, enter the molar mass of the electrode material. This will cause cell B11 to calculate the moles of lithium transferred per milliamp hour based on Faraday's law of capacitance. Next, enter the stoichiometry of lithium in the starting material. It should be noted that in cases in which the first step of the experiment removes lithium from the material, a negative symbol should be entered in the formula in B11. Next, enter the quantities that you wish to plot on the top and bottom axes and the titles that you wish to appear for each of these. Next, specify whether you wish the graphs to be plotted in a closed loop form. This is a format of graph that is typically used when consecutive cycles are plotted. Next, specify the full experiment name. This will be used to generate the caption that will appear in the output Word document. Next, specify the origin template that you wish to use. This affects various properties of the generated graph, such as whether the lines are dashed or solid. A detailed demonstration of how to modify this template is given in the link in the description. This concludes the tutorial. However, it should be noted that the manual contains written forms of these instructions and additional information. Finally, I am offering this program for sale from my website, cyresa.com. If this appears useful to you and you would like to consider purchasing it, then I would greatly appreciate it as this will enable me to keep making more programs. Thank you for watching and I hope to help you accelerate your scientific research.